What's up guys, welcome back again to your Heroclix headquarters. Today I've got some exciting new previews to check out with you guys from the upcoming X of Swords set, or Ten of Swords set, I guess it's supposed to be pronounced that way. Now these were shared on Facebook, they're coming out of Game Trade Magazine. Honestly, I'm never sure if anybody that just randomly shares them on Facebook would want to shout out on a YouTube video, but thanks for sharing them. Um, anyway, without any further ado, let's just dive right into these. So first one starting off is Captain Britain. She's a super rare, number 45 in the set. Uh, looks like she's got Excalibur, X-Men, Martial Artist, and Mystical Keywords. Uh, she's got a trait, the plus five points sword bearer trait, so she can start the game with uh, any sword equipped. And then she also has the Excalibur Mystical Protectors trait that we saw in House of X. So of course it gives her Mystic team ability, but only triggers during range attacks. And she has Safeguard Mystic, so she won't take damage from Mystics. Always nice to have. Then she has another trait that gives her willpower but succeeds on what appears to be a 4 through 6. And when Captain Britain uses it and succeeds, you may also remove an action token from a friendly character within range. Pretty nice there. She's got, uh, looks like two point values. From what I can tell, looks like 80 and 40 points. Uh, so for the full 80, she's got charge, 11 attack precision, 18 invincible. 3 damage without wit, um, and then for 40, she's still got charge with uh, precision, but she's got a uh, 17 combat reflexes and a 2 damage without wit. Um, honestly, oh, she's also got uh, X-Men team ability and a 3 range, it looks like, for that uh, special trait that she has. So I'm just going to go ahead and say this one's a little underwhelming to me. Um, she seems very similar to the one that we got in House of X. That one had a special leadership that, uh, if I remember correctly, could also remove tokens within her range from your friendly characters. So it's kind of just replacing leadership for willpower. Personally, I prefer the leadership. Um, and that one, I believe, also had a special Blades Clause role that would um, you could like choose to decrease the damage by one or two, and if you did, then the hit character would also get that much of a negative to their stats or something like that. Um, I should have just looked it up, but if I'm remembering correctly that she had a special power that did something like that. Uh, so I gotta say, and I think she was a very similar point value too, I think she was 80 and 30 instead of 80 and 40. So, you know, I'm not really seeing a huge difference here with this one. I kind of prefer the old super rare, uh, but this one does have the plus five sword bearer trait. So that, I think that's really the main difference that could really push this one over the top if you get you know, a special sword with her or something that could just really make the difference um, because I think that's what I'm going to have to see is what sword she comes with or just some more swords in general to really decide, you know, on what uh, which Captain Britain version of her I think would be best. But with just this so far, I think the other one is a tad better still. Now the next one is way more exciting, and uh, that is the Apocalypse. I believe this one is going to be one of the prize figures. Uh, I think maybe even the grand prize figure, perhaps, for winning the whole event that's coming out, the X of Swords event. So to start off, he's got the Horseman, X-Men, Mystical, Pass, Ruler, and Warrior keywords. Pretty great selection there. He's also got the Sword Bearer trait to start the game with any sword equipped. Um, so that is also going to make, I think, a big difference <laughs> depending on what sword you use with him. So Apocalypse starts with a trait. Krakoa is for all mutants. When establishing theme teams, characters with the Arako keyword gain the X-Men keyword. That could be pretty interesting depending on, you know, what more we see out of the set. But then it also goes on to say when a friendly character with the X-Men keyword would be hit with a close attack, if they can use Blades, Claws, Fangs, they may roll a d6. If they do and the result is greater than the attacker's printed damage value, they evade the attack. That is amazing. Because on average, uh, they're going to have like three damage, right? So as long as you roll, it's like 50-50 odds of rolling out of that. It's kind of like having a four through six super senses, essentially, uh, for anybody that has blades. That's nuts. Um, now, it does just say for a friendly character with the X-Men keyword, so... Uh, the fact that he's probably going to have blades, pretty much every single sword equipment we've seen so far gives blades claws in addition to some other effect. 
So since he has a sword bearer trait, he's probably going to have blades from one of the swords. And since he's a friendly character with the X-Men keyword, with blades, claws, fangs, that's also going to, you know, count for him. So it's going to give him that extra chance to evade things. So that's pretty awesome. Um, now, he also has a special movement power that gives him flurry and phase teleport. When Apocalypse uses phase teleport after uh, resolutions, he may make a close attack. Um, so that's pretty nuts. Um, so that's just after he uses face teleport, he can make a close attack. Uh, so he's got like a pretty high movement there with face teleport on his first couple of lines. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second, but full move face teleport and then make a close attack. That's nuts. Um, now it's not a close action, so you won't be able to activate flurry, but I mean, still full move face and then close and then Next turn, you just flurry them. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, now he's got special defense power that gives him stop, invincible, and super senses. And each time this click is revealed due to taking damage from an attack, KO an object equipped to the attacker. If the attacker was not equipped, deal them one penetrating damage. Ooh, so that is amazing. So a stop with invincible and super senses is already about as good as it gets. But the fact that you can immediately KO any equipment that they had or just deal them uh, penetrating damage, in addition to the fact that it looks like he's already got Mystics and Cosmic Energy team ability, so they're already going to be taking a Mystics from him. That's potentially a second Mystics in a sense, right? Uh, that's nuts. Taking two penetrating damage just for hitting him. That's crazy. So it looks like this guy's point value starting out is going to be 295, 295 points. Uh, or you have 145, and you also have a 35 line. Of course, those all end in 5 because you're going to be adding 5 for the sword equipped. So we're really talking about 300, 150, or 40 points. Pretty huge uh, jumps there. I got to say, this guy, though, is nuts. Top dial, uh, he's got 7 range double target, 12 movement with that phasing, which gives you a close attack, 13 attack with penetrating blast, 20 defense with invincible, 6 damage without wit, and he immediately has 2 stop clicks right after that with a 19 defense. So that's going to give you invincible with super senses with a 19. And uh, yeah, that 20 defense to start with is nuts. And that's all the while he has, assuming he has blades, if they do hit him with a close attack, then he's also going to be able to roll, and if he gets higher than their damage, he can just evade it. Uh, and in addition to, you know, super senses on the stop click and everything, so he's got double rollouts on the stop, super high defense, invincible, that can't be outwitted, is amazing because he can't take penetrating either. He's got his own outwit. Uh, Mid-dial, starting on the 150 line, he has his own prob. Um, now this one, he actually has to take some damage before he lands on that stop click. I actually really like how the uh, 300 point line starts immediately. The next two clicks are stop clicks. So the first two people that hit him are going to lose their equipment or they're going to take an extra click of penetrating damage. Um, yeah, that's nuts. And the fact that he's got steel energy on like most of his dial, except for the starting lines, every start line starts with pen penetrating blasts, but every other click is steel energy with uh, either the phase teleport and flurry or the charge. So that's pretty nuts. Gotta love that. Uh, and for 40 points, he's got leadership as well with some invuln. So I think this guy's actually great at all of the point values. Uh, for 40, you know, he's a good little leadership figure. He's got survivability. He's got the mystics. He's got the stop click. You know, he's great. 150, you know, he's definitely more of a powerhouse. You know, he's got the 19 invincible, the prob, the 12 uh, penetrating blasts, the face teleport still. Uh, I really like the 300. I actually believe this may be the best 300 point figure we've ever had, question mark. Um, this dude, you know, God Emperor Doom was amazing for his time as well. Uh, he was never quite meta though. He was always like just shy of being good enough to actually be like in the meta. Uh, this dude, I could almost see just 
slapping this dude down at 300 points and just being like, bring it, right? Because you've got so much defense and so much offense and so much mobility. You know, he's got his own support powers in there. And uh, depending on what sword you equip him with, too, I think could be huge. But this dude's nuts. I like him a lot. I think people are really going to be trying to win this event to win this guy. Because, bruh, he is insane. He looks really cool, too, from what I can tell of the sculpt. It's kind of hard to tell there. But, you guys, this guy is insanely good. Don't you think? I mean, you guys got to let me know in the comments what you think about this guy. Now, that's all we get in this uh, preview. They did also show one of the chases, but it's the same chase that Scott Porter pulled in his unboxing. So we've already seen that one. Um, if you want to check that out, I'd go check out his unboxing or go check out Game Trade Magazine and they show it there as well. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty nuts. I gotta say, it's kind of funny to go from a kind of lackluster super rare that's really similar to the old one. And then boom, this amazing like uh, limited edition prize figure that is definitely going to be chased after as far as a prize goes. But yeah, let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Uh, smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, as always. And don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss any future videos. And if you guys would like to help support the channel even more, you can check the links in the description for our Patreon so you can see your name here in the credits as well as some other cool stuff. So check that out. But that's going to do it for this one, you guys. Thanks again so much for watching. Until next time, this has been HeroClix Headquarters, signing off.